This is Chef uh, Yan Hansen, executive chef here at uh, Heritage Park. Uh, you're doing scallops right now, and we're trying to time this perfectly. So how long should they cook, by the way? You know what? They take about a minute and a half. You want to keep them nice and rare on the inside. You overcook them, and they're no good. They're like little rubber balls. So uh, <laughs> You don't want to overcook them. Nobody wants rubber balls for dinner, right? And, and so, so describe this dish that you're throwing together for us tonight. So this is on our Selkirk Grill menu. It's an appetizer. It consists of the seared Digby scallops and then the, the pork belly from Sprague's Farms. And then we deglaze the pork belly with a little bit of maple apple um, glaze. And then we finish it uh, on the bottom of the plate with a bit of sweet pea puree. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a great appetizer. All right. So I'm guessing that those must be almost done. We don't want the rubber balls. So now I'm just going to stand out of your way as you do your thing. There's the glaze going on top. What's, what's the glaze, sorry? Yeah? So it's roasted apple and maple syrup. And um, it just adds a little bit of sweetness to the pork belly. And, uh, it's and, great. and this, is, this is something I can get at the Selkirk Grill, right? The menu in the Selkirk Grill, it is, yeah. yeah. Nice. So uh, the menu changes twice a year, and this is part of our summer menu right now. So uh, again, the pork bellies from Sprague's, which is out in um, Rosemary, Alberta. And the scallops are um, from uh, Fanny Bay. All right. Plate away, my friend. Plate away. The Selker Grill, by the way, has an awesome patio, and you can overlook uh, live concerts Wednesday evenings in July and August. It's supposed to be quite romantical, quite romantic, a food outstanding, and uh, the precision. And that's the sweet pea. Um, it's a sweet pea what on the bottom? Sweet pea puree. Sweet pea puree. So then just gets pureed with a little bit of cream and a little bit of butter, and... Um, one more pork belly to go on there. And then the precision of a doctor here, actually. This is a chive oil, and these chives are grown in our garden here, along with some of the other vegetables you see here in front of us. So, yeah, you tell us about the jar. while you're doing the um, putting the coolie on there. The, tell us about the jars uh, that we have in front. So, yeah, uh, Rachel is our gardener here at the park, and we, it's part of our field to fork program. And uh, we have carrots here, we have beets here, striped beets here. Um, all throughout the fall, we get um, everything from squash to pumpkin to onions to garlic, and all that stuff that she grows here. We use in the Selkirk Grill as well. Grown on the grounds. And then onto the plate. Yeah, and onto the plate. And then uh, the rest of the stuff that we can't use, we, uh, we get together and we have a big pickling day and we jar it all <laughs> and save it for the winter. It's great. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. The precision of a doctor, as we've been joking here, Yan. Yeah. So, uh, some microgreens on top. That's the dish here in the grill. That is available right now. I mean, Tom's shooting this for us, and I'm going to tell you that, again, Music in the Plaza, Heritage Town Square, the Selkirk Grill has a great, great deck or patio overlooking this Wednesday evenings from 6 till 8. Sounds like a lot of fun. If people want to find out more about the Selkirk Grill, how do they do that, Yeah. You know, we've got a great website. There's lots of information there. All the menus are there, uh, or they can phone the grill as well, too, uh, and the, the phone number is on our website as well, too. So, come. Thank you, Yen.